Yeah, the music in the film became a really important um, element, which um, I guess really started to speak the internal journey of Jamie. I mean, he's quite a um, passive character anyway. Um, doesn't have a huge amount of uh, dialogue to say or um, huge amount, huge beats of um, exposition. So the music was always, I guess, his internal voice. And Jed and I were very aware that we didn't want it to be leading the audience emotionally, that it had to be a kind of pulse and a rhythm that kind of captured Jamie. Um, and that was leading him, I guess, to a kind of purgatory or to a hell at the end of the film. So the music, uh, the theme of the music actually came very, very quickly. I don't believe in temp tracks. I, I, I really want to go into an edit with, <clears throat> you know, a sound designer or... or or, or a piece of music that is telling and informing the edit. So Jed's kind of pulse, this kind of theme that he'd created through the, through the, um, through the film was something that actually defined the beginning and the end of the film, um, which was you know, never there in the script um, and became a very important, I guess, cinematic device to, uh, to, I guess, chart Jamie's journey throughout the film.